All right, today I'm going to be showing you what I have for my uh, mobile strike bot. Um, I recently uh, completed a writing a routine that basically runs every minute um, and will um, uh, do various tasks um, that I find laborious and kind of redundant. Um, for instance, uh, um, doing the alliance help, um, collecting crates, um, collecting and starting missions. Um, there's the, fr um, the shooting range attacks. Um, let me see, is there any others? Um, there's the daily logins. I don't really have any examples of those I can show today, but basically I'm going to run this, um, and, uh, show you. Actually, let me, I'm going to log into, um, another account that I know has a free attack today and actually has, uh, um, uh, you're going to have the 25 crates uh, to be able to open from that. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate that once we get that loaded. Oh, that actually is going to fail, so it's going to try again. Now, note, note while this is running, um, it's going to be really difficult to really see everything that's happening at once. I'd, I'd really advise you to just keep your eye on one screen and just see what it's doing because it's going to go way too fast. Um, but actually, I actually want to show you this too. What I have is, so I have four windows open, as you can see. I also have, uh, when I click, I have these little buttons here. When I click on one, I'll see the state of of the screen and as we can see we're in our base uh, main screen um, and if I click on Alliance of course it'll say Alliance and I can go into GIFs and it'll say GIFs and that's really the magic of how I'm able to do this is it ba basically I'm tracking certain pixel locations and if it's a certain value um, that means it's in a specific area so then I, I track it and then I basically say if you're on the GIF screen, then click the GIFs. Um, it's pretty complicated stuff uh, once you get, when you actually look at the code, but um, uh, that's uh, how I have it working. Um, but as you can see, I click as I'm clicking through here. You also notice these letters. Um, so on screen two, um, H will mean help, so I'll alliance help. Um, C means crate, and that's that blue crate. Uh, we don't have any silver crates. Uh, the, the global gift crates um, that show up here, um, but that would show up as an S uh, for silver. Um, w means rewards crate. That pretty much always shows up. Um, there's no real way, good way of, of tracking those. Basically, every time it runs, it'll open it up, and if it says collect, it'll click it and collect it, but um, that unfortunately has to run every single time. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on just a sec, I'm getting a battery low. Alright, now I'm plugged in. Okay, um, what else do we have here? We have M for missions, that, that shows that there's missions available. So if we click back on one, we see that actually there's no missions available. Um, so that M will disappear. Um, and we have a G, what does G stand for? Oh, gifts. Gifts are available. Um, and actually, if we click on three, we can see that we have F for free attack. That's available here. So, I guess uh, without further ado, I'll kick this off. Um, basically, I just have a checkbox here, and as that's checked, it'll run every minute. So, um, And this will actually steal mouse control, so I actually have a little orange banner that warns me 10 seconds before this runs. Um, and then it'll turn red once mouse has control. Um, that that warning is basically just to let me know to to not mess with the mouse and let it do, run it let it run its thing. So I'm gonna have, go ahead and click that. And we're gonna have 10 seconds to wait here while while this runs and does everything.
Now normally it's not supposed to click out of those missions and go back in, but um, the screen is really too slow. Um, I, I have put in a delay, but um, really um, it seems like no matter what, what delay value you put in, um, there'll be something else to you know make it slower. Sometimes the game's running fast, sometimes the game runs slower, but you know it's it's not really that big of a deal that it has to exit and go back into it and it's as you can see it's still collecting the missions so um, it'll run through all of them. I think I had like 45 missions to collect. Oh and actually so that notification uh, box that shows up, you know that black box that shows up there uh, when, whenever you like collect a gift or uh, you know a war rally starts or um, that was basically blocking this free attack so it didn't show up that run um, that's usually okay because the next minute it'll sh it'll pick it up again um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and run this manually again um, and we should pick up the free attack this time Now it's actually just randomly clicking. And that is actually a random. Um, it's actually clicking the same ones uh, right now. That's what's taken so long. Which is quite odd, but it's possible. Not sure what went wrong there, but... Um, Actually, we can force it again. Um, this would actually, it's actually still not a not a huge problem because the next time um, a free attack shows up, so tomorrow obviously you get one every day, tomorrow it'll go in there and actually it'll show that um, it'll come right to the screen and it'll continue uh, working. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click that again. And while this comes back, I'm just gonna click in there right away to. Ah, dang it, I have to be quick on the trigger. Nope, oh, still didn't get it. There we go. Ah, dang it. You know, I wonder if actually um, somewhere along the way that uh, both the X and Y value on the on the um, um, on the random number is actually using the same same number. Um, that I will actually have to look into, but um, I'm guessing that's what's giving us the issue. Um, but. Um, this definitely works on the on the normal crates with the three choices. Um, basically, it's just yep, pick one one of the three, and then click collect, and then be on its way. And look at that! There's the grenade. Let's see if we can try to get it to collect.
there. I mean, I, I it's obviously buggy, um, but uh, it's been something I've been working on. And uh, um, basically, um, pretty much the only thing I have to do basically is uh, um, just come in and make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, um, you know, and, and make sure to reset my uh, ghost rallies and, and transferring resources. That's one of my next things to work on is to um, get uh, automatic transfer or resource transferring working um, that way. Um, I don't have to worry about falling asleep um, and waking up tomorrow morning with no, with no food. Um, for instance, my farm. You know, I can I can produce you know 11 million food and probably like I don't know like six hours maybe, um, and that's actually my cap. Um, but you know, obviously, I can't physically be able to you know constantly be transferring resources. So that'll be something I'll, I'll get automated. But uh, um, pretty much most of everything that's you know just a, a chore um, I have automated here. So that's my bot.